FIFA World Cup England against Canada. Welcome guys. As you know today and tomorrow we will go through the 2022 World Cup with England. This is the first game in the group. It's against Canada a must win. I mean Canada is not really good. We definitely should win this game and yeah today I will go for these three games. Austria I don't know why national team was in brackets behind that. That doesn't make sense but okay. Against Austria, Canada and against Colombia. I'm going to play these three games. Tomorrow we will go through the round of 16, the quarterfinals and the semifinals in the second episode of this. If we actually manage to get in the final, then tomorrow there are going to be two videos. One with these three rounds, knockout rounds. And the second one is just the final. No editing, no cuts. As you guys know, whenever I get in the final in any series, you, s you can see the whole Thing. What is going on with number 6 and number 16? What's your problem? But yeah, you guys know what's going to happen. Let's look at them teams. I don't want to skip it. Uh, yeah, I knew it's going to happen. Of course, then I... Sk oh, okay, I hate this. I hate it. Um, Let's see. Uh, actually, it's better to do it this way. So you know our team Armstrong, it's the same team. Butland is playing. Oh shit, I made a mistake. <laughs> I made actually a mistake. I Oh, okay. Butland is playing this game. Sorry guys. Not Clements. And in England, uh, in Canada, this is the team Hoylet. We know Hoylet. We know Chapman. And other than these two, I don't know anybody. So it should be a must win. So guys, in the top right, there should be a vote now. Easy question. Do you think we can win the World Cup? this tournament or do you think we won't win it? And if you think we won't win it, you can please tell me in the comments who you think will win it. You know the groups, I showed you the groups. Who do you think will win the World Cup? First corner of the tournament. Ali. It's a good cross actually, but over the bar. Good chance. First chance in this tournament for us. What, what, uh, what are you doing guys? Button with a good save. What are you doing? He, three people were there, three defenders, and he was just able to go through. Butland, mm, just catch it. It's not that difficult to catch a fucking ball. Guys, we can't swap two points in this game. We cannot just get a draw against Canada, because Colombia is going to be a really difficult game. And I think we're going to lose against Colombia. If we draw in this game, that would be really bad. Okay. Come on guys, pass it to Oxford, pass it back to... Wow, Oxford is shit. Go into something off now. He made so many mistakes, he is so shit in this game. Henderson is on. Also I will bring on... Sterling for Quay, because Quay is not working as well. Oh my... Oh, oh thank god. What is going on? Canada right now is playing uh, as Barcelona, like Barcelona. Oh. Hey, we can't drop two points against fucking Canada, we can't. John Henderson and Sterling. Sterling, Sterling, can he make the difference? Can he make the difference? Can he make the difference? Ah, oh, shit. 20 minutes, 20 fucking minutes now. Ali, good cross. Why are you not just heading the ball? Okay, Birsch. Come on, guys. Birsch to Henderson. Pass it to Luke Woods. Can you get it through? Yes, Armstrong. Please, don't be offside. Oh. Don't be offside, really? We hit the fucking post. Oh, no. Come on, guys. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. 11 minutes, I'm going to make one substitution. Um, Luke Woods is off and I'm going to ping on Wilford. I'm going to ping on Henderson as center mid, Wilford up front as center forward. So we are going really attacking. Um, come on. Okay. But I'm going to change this thing. I'm swung behind him. We can't drop two points against Canada. This is a joke. Butland is playing. Oh shit, I made a mistake. <laughs> I can't believe it. We dominated all the time. Okay, all the time. Guys, guys, is this, if this is, 
just a header from the defend uh, the Canada player. I say it's fine. Okay, it's bullshit, but okay. If this is an own goal by Butland, if this is an own goal by Butland. If this is, why can I not, okay. If this is a own goal by Butland, you know. Come on. Um, it's so frustrating if you play a good for 90 minutes, deserve to win, and then you lose because of that. It is so, I feel so sick because of this. So we got a game against Colombia now. First question of course is are we going to play with our first or second choice squad? Our first is quite dead so I will play with my second choice squad which is this one for everybody who doesn't know against Colombia. Here you can see their team but we know we know this Palanta guy, Murillo, I think I know Arias, they still have Rames Rodriguez, Cuadrado, Castillo, Zabata so they still have some players who play for Colombia at the moment, so in real life 2016. If you lose this game, we have zero points. Colombia has six. That means we can't get uh, first place anymore. We can just get through if Canada is losing against Austria. Wow. I think guys, this is a one episode tournament. I think we are actually not even going through the group stage. Wow, I don't know what else to say. Um, if we lo uh, lose this game, Canada has to lose against Austria, we have to win against Austria and Ca uh, Canada has to lose against Colombia and then we also have to have a better goal difference than Austria and Canada. This is basically the only chance for us to get through. Virtue to Wilford, Wilford has the pace, has the tripling, he has the shot and he has the shot. Yes, Wilford. That's why I saw. I uh, said he has to play for us in the World Cup because he can do these things: the pace, the tripling, the shot. Wilford. I think Jack Wilford, the equalizer. Okay. Well, Colombia are so good in front of the goal. They make the right decisions have so much pace and score them goals. I mean it's like in real life, Colombia is for me at least one of the 5-6 best teams because they have so many huge talents but also amazing players, so much pace are so good in front of the goal and so good in defending, they are a, an amazing team. In the last World Cup, so 2014, I mean in real life, they could have won it. They were really unlucky. Against, Bar uh, against Brazil, really, really unlucky. And then they would have played against Germany, and I'm from Germany, and I know how strong Germany was in this tournament. But against Colombia, I think we might have lost. For me, Colombia was the best team besides Germany in the whole tournament. Okay. They basically just had three chances and scored three goals and I can't defend them because they are so fucking quick. Uh, penalty! They got a penalty as well now. That is not a penalty. How is this a fucking penalty? How is this a penalty? Oh, and of course he's sh shooting at bottom mid. Oh, I just can't get. I just, you see that? I just can't get the ball, whatever I try, and then they score this. You see that? How I'm supposed to? I'm supposed to do? I can't get the ball, whatever I do, and then they score from the year with a perfect shot. What I'm supposed to do, guys? What I'm supposed to do? Why can you not just get the ball as well? Every time! Yeah, fuck off! Fuck off! Oh, 
Alright. Next one. What an amazing game. What an amazing game. Have I ever told you that I love FIFA? That I love FIFA so much? So, can we go through? We are playing against Austria. We have to win. Kanda has to lose. And we have to win by a few goals so we have a better goal difference. So basically we have to win by three goals against Austria. And Canada has to lose and then we will go through. This is their team. I know Teigl, Hinteregger, Dragovic, Alaba, Kavlak. I think that's Kura, Kura, I don't know, Lazaro, Alatovic, Sabitzer, Hinterseer. I know everybody, at le uh, 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 not at least, except of Radlinger. I don't know Radlinger, but all the other players, I know, they are real players. Playing for uh, Austria in real life as well. So, you guys know we have to win by at least three goals. That basically means we will go and play quite attacking because right now we scored one goal against Colombia and zero against Austria, uh, against um, Canada. And now we have to score at least three. And oh, they almost scored as well. So, yeah, we have to somehow start scoring them goals. Basically. And there we not go. Okay. Why can we not? I don't know. We can't score. We can't make good passes. We can't defend. Seems like for whatever reason, the squad is just shit. Compton, come on now. To Quay. Please let us score. Quay. Quay is waiting. Quay. Pass it, shoot, nice, okay, first one, and I think it's actually Ox, no, it's Alley. Or is it Oxford, I'm not sure. But good assist from Quay there, and then we finally score the goal. It's Alley, alright, good. Dali Alley, of course, who else got the goal? Just two to go. Just two to go. That's definitely possible. Compton, 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 that was amazing, the shot is just not... On target. Oh, that would have been so good for us, for Compton, for everything. A 2 0 for fourth time would be really good because then we just need one goal in the second half. We don't have to go that attacking and therefore we don't have to risk that much. Because if it's 1 0, we still have to score two goals and that means we basically have to go quite attacking. Canada is losing 2-0. Okay, Canada is going to lose. Canada is not getting second place. If we win by three or more goals in this game, we will go through to a round of 16. It's that easy. Canada is not get, get, getting back against Colombia. Never. 100% not. So this is our chance and it starts off really well with fucking Ox- Oh no. I hate Oxford so freaking much. Go and just fuck off. Just fuck off. I don't know. Henderson. I I don't know. Just fuck off, Oxford. Please, Palanta. Oh my fucking god, Palanta. What are you doing? Thank you, Palanta. Instead of just taking the ball, Palanta decides to do nothing and then just slide tackle the guy behind and getting a red card. English goalkeepers, ladies and gentlemen, or goalkeepers in FIFA 16. You, you are fucking kidding me. It is so much bullshit, I can't believe it. First, fucking Butland. Now this. FIFA, what is going on? Why are you so stupid and just can't? Make the goalkeepers at least not that retarded. They are completely retarded. And you all the years say we improved the goalkeepers. I don't see anything of that. I can't see how you improved the goalkeepers. They are as retarded as they always were. My goodness, I can't believe how stupid EA is. Grey. Quay, Quay, please, Quay, we need that. Okay, Quay scored. Just wanted to sub him off, but now he scored. 2 0. We can actually still do this. We just need one more goal. One more goal. We have to score one more goal and we will 
go through as second place. But at the moment we are out, but this could be the chance because Wilford is fast. Wilford is fast. Come on, cut inside Wilford. Yes, Wilford, Wilford, shoot, yes, yes. Oh yes guys, 88 minutes played and I told you we need Wilford for England in the World Cup. We need him and boom, he scored a goal against Colombia which actually was nothing really. But now he scored such an important goal. Two minutes to play, we were out. And he scored the goal which hopefully will get us through if we not concede a goal. In the next three minutes, we are through to the round of 16. Unless, of course, Canada is somehow getting a draw, which I am quite sure they won't. But it could actually happen. It could happen that we win final, but Canada somehow got a 2 out draw against Colombia. And we are out because of that. But I don't think it's happening, so we did our job. Please, Colombia, please, I beg. Okay, Colombia 1v1. Guys, we actually did it somehow. After all that bullshit, we just got three fucking points, just three. But we still made it through. Three points were enough to still make it through somehow. I don't know why, but, uh, how, but I, <laughs> we just somehow did it. Guys, this episode was especially rage. That we were not able to score against Canada, then what Dutland did, the own goal, the game against Colombia, and then the wet card from Balanta, and they st we still somehow did it. I don't believe it, but we still somehow got through. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Tomorrow we will go and end this uh, series. I hope you enjoyed this. And yeah, other than this, guys, have an amazing day. I will see you tomorrow. And bye, guys.